Hey guys, so my wonderful wife just bought me a webcam for Christmas, so I'm able to start kind of making some more videos with a stationary camera, a little bit better quality. Eventually I'll get my microphone back, maybe get it shipped or something so the uh, audio quality improved. But today I wanted to talk again about the Baofeng Bluetooth programmer. And I've got to be completely transparent. Um, first I want to say I did make a video uh, several months ago on this product. You can find the video here. And that was not paid. Uh, the, pro uh, the the company was not paying me to make that video, blah, blah, blah. This video, however, being completely transparent, they are giving me a commission on these sales. So I just want to go ahead and get that out of the way. But I do want to talk about it again because I do believe the product is really great for the price. It offers like a ton of functionality and I, I stand by it. I mean, it works pretty well and uh, it's really the only one of its kind that I know of. So this isn't really a shill, I genuinely like it. So I'm gonna talk about it a little bit more. Last time I talked about it, the actual product sold out from all the links that I had um, and people kept asking me, where do I get one? Where do I get one? And I didn't know. But the company reached out to me and provided me uh, another link on Amazon where you can obtain one. So let's go ahead and talk about it. So what is, it? well, this is the Kid Radio model number BL-1 Bluetooth programmer. And what this little uh, doohickey does is pretty much plugs into the um, speaker mic of your Baofeng radio and works just like a, um, a blue, uh, programmer cable for your computer, only you do it over Bluetooth with an app for your phone. It's pretty easy to set up and it has a lot of functionality. So let's go ahead and get into this. So the first thing that you do is basically turn the Bluetooth programmer on. You'll have a little Bluetooth uh, blue light there. And you'll just plug it into the speaker mic of your radio. So I'm going to go ahead and plug it in there. And there we go. I'm now going to turn the radio on. And we're going to go ahead and... Okay, so the first thing you want to do is obtain the app for the programmer. And that is called OD Master. And you can get this from your Android or iPhone app store, wherever you get your apps. But basically, once it's installed, you'll open it up and you will be required to register. Um, I didn't have to do an email verification, but once you're registered for the app, there's a few different uh, settings and things you can play around with here. But the main focus is going to be the program tab. So you've got your Bluetooth connector plugged in and it's waiting for a connection. You don't go through the Bluetooth settings on your phone. You have to do this through the app. This is the way it's programmed. So you want to go ahead and hit the connect Bluetooth on the app. And you should see your TID Radio Bluetooth device. And we're going to go ahead and toggle that on. And the reason that you see it here like this is because you can actually connect multiple devices. So next we're going to go ahead and uh, check out the read. So, well, actually, we need to select the model first. So I'm using the UV5R, and they support, you know, a lot of different models of radio, but you can kind of go around on their website and check that out. But I'm going to go ahead and select the UV5R, and any type of programming with this app begins with the read. So this is just going to get your current uh, programming from your radio. There we go. So yeah, it's some of these bow things are kind of made strange where it doesn't plug in very well. You know, they're all made a little bit different. If you've ever used any of the bow thing hand mics, you've kind of experienced that, I'm sure. But basically, once it reads from the radio, uh, you have the entire programming set that's from the radio here in your hands. So you can modify channels individually. You can go through... Uh, and actually edit the universal functions of the Baofeng. So you can set your squelch levels and your vox, change the LED lights, change the channel display, turn off Roger beeps, all that fun stuff you can do straight from the app. Which I don't know about you guys, but I find a lot more... Uh, it's a lot easier to do this from the app than to try to do it from the Baofeng menus if you've ever used the Baofeng menus. But... Uh, you can, yeah, basically just go in and change whatever you like. So, for example, if I want to change channel 0 to simplex, I can just go in here and type in 146520, and uh, I'll change the name from FRS to simplex. My phone wasn't so complicated. It's like... Um, anyways, you'll just type in simplex... 
it's like my phone like the one is on the edge of the screen so I can't click it there we go I'll just drag it over anyways so simplex and I would just hit write so what write does is basically transmits whatever data you put in right back to the radio so you can change as many channels as you want as many settings as you want as soon as you hit write it will send that back over and that's basically how that works now another really cool feature that I want to show you is the remote programming and a lot of this is going to have to be done on the computer but the first thing you want to do is go to your me tab and make sure to go under settings and make sure that this remote program is enabled and you'll go online and you can actually modify your programming lists uh, your your uh, frequency lists and then you can go into the app and after you've read it you can see those lists and transmit them to the radio and I'll show you guys real quick before we jump over to the computer what that looks like so if I go to RXTX list these are some of the lists that I've been working on online and you can actually just open it up you can edit it from the app or you can edit it from online and then you can transmit those lists back to the radio that'll make much more sense once we take a look at it so I'm gonna see you guys back on the computer all right, so for the website, you want to go to web.odmaster.net, which you can see up here on the top left, and you'll log in with the same username and password that you did on the app. So I'm just going to do that now. And you might get in one of these annoying little captures. But once you're in, as you can see, uh, here are all the programming sets that I had seen on my radio. And I can actually go in and say uh, edit one and you can edit it pretty much the same way you would on the phone except this is a lot more efficient if you use your keyboard and mouse you can copy and paste frequencies for different websites for Peterbook um, you know and all that sort of thing but there's not a whole lot to this now there are a couple things you need to watch out for a couple of glitches that I discovered so once you're entering a program <clears throat> Uh, data set in here you want to make sure that there are no tabs or white spaces uh, if you're copying and pasting things over into the frequencies because those will save and when you try to transmit them to your radio it will fail and you'll get hung up trying to figure out what the what's going on so you want to make sure that no spaces no white sp no tabs or white spaces are in the frequencies that goes without saying you know uh, to the radio if you're watching this um, I would try to to uh, try to clean it up a little bit so that maybe when people put it in, there's an automatic scanning in the background to make sure there's no tabs or white spaces or there's no invalid frequencies. I noticed I think there's some like uh, accidentally like ended up with two numbers somehow. So like it was like two numbers here and then it would fail out as well. So I had to go in and put zeros and I'm not sure how that happened, but that's the only little kind of hiccup I've seen with this remote programming other than that it's been really really useful and I, I really appreciate what they've done here especially for the price i mean it's 20 bucks on amazon you know it is about i mean it's almost the price of the radio but really for the functionality that it offers and this whole back end here where you can just go in and create the sets on the computer i mean it's i mean it might be just a little bit more expensive than the programming cable itself but you can wirelessly program it and you can do it on the fly so i don't know i like it it's a it's a really good product and um you know i'm i stand by it anyways that's it for this video uh, i hope you guys liked it i know it's pretty simple and it's kind of something i've covered before but the company saw what i did with the last video i'm sure they liked it and wanted me to make another one and all the money that uh, comes from that obviously goes straight back into the channel we're trying to rebuild our setup down here so that uh, we can do some more operation mobile operation so just want to be transparent with you guys kind of what this is about but i do like the product i like what they've done i think it's a wonderful price for what it does and uh, yeah that's pretty much it after christmas we should start seeing some hf videos uh, the only thing I'm lacking now really is a transmission line, and I'll get that soon. But we're going to start seeing some POTA and SOTA activations here soon on the channel. So look forward to that and 73.